I have a helper today. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today I want to talk about the books I want to read in September. As you can see, I have a short helper today who's standing on a stool, so she's not so short. <laughs> she's gonna help me talk about the books I wanna read, right? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, let's get started then. <laughs> so I have a few books that I have started and I really need to finish. So we're gonna talk about those first. This is going to be mostly like a catch up month to finish all the books that I've started and, you know, maybe get a head start on my October spooky reading. The first one that I want to finish is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. This is the second book in the Diviners series. Cool. Hold, show the masses. This, this is cool and I love it. So the Diviners is a historical fiction following a multitude of characters, but mostly Evie O'Neill, who is a diviner. She can hold the objects of people and see their deep dark secrets through them. So in the first book, she ends up going to New York with her uncle at this occult and horror museum and ends up helping solve a murder. It's a wild ride. And this one just springboards off of that into a completely different plot. And it is so, so good so far. And I would highly recommend the audiobooks. They're really entertaining. I have like five hours of this left, but uh, someone else wanted it at the library. So as soon as I get it back, I will be finishing it. And then I will probably also be starting the next one, which is Before the Devil Breaks You, which also goes to my spooky reading. So, there you have it. Oh no, where did Aoife go? Oh! <laughs> la, 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 la. See what I have to deal with? So the next book that I want to finish is Wings of Shadows by Nikki Palperto. This is the third and final book in the Crown of Feathers series, which I've talked about at great length. Just a brief little summary. It's about two sisters who want to become Phoenix writers, but they go about doing it in very separate ways. One of them is very kind and understanding. The other one is a meanie. Just follows their journey and then a craziness that ensues. I can't wait to finish this book. I'm not very far in, but I do intend on finishing it this month. It is so, so good. It's already really high stakes, lots of emotions. I really hope they're all gonna be okay. I have a bad feeling, but I always do with third books and it ends up being all right. <laughs> So the next one that I want to finish, which I started last month, is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chosky, and I'm really loving this so far. My helper decided to abandon me. This is kind of a mix between Six of Crows, Ninth House, and a little bit of like natural treasure <laughs> mixed in there. It's about a guy named Severin who gets a group of people together to search for a hidden artifact that he really wants to find in order to join a special group of people called the Order of Babel. I'm really enjoying this. I really like the representation in this book. There's a character that appears to have like autism or Asperger's or something, just by the way she's written and the things that kind of uh, set her off. <laughs> I think it's really interesting. So really enjoying this, reading this with my bestie, which we haven't done in so long, and it's really, really good so far. Can't wait to finish it. So as I mentioned, I also might start Before the Devil Breaks You. There's a couple other spooky books that I kind of want to fit on here, or at least start to get a head start on my October reading, because again, this is like a catch-up month. Are you showing them the cool random things on my bookshelf? That's cool. I have no idea where I got that. There's a couple of shorter spooky books that I kind of want to put on this list. Um, but I don't know which one I want to start first. Either way, they will be on the October one eventually. I could start with all of them. All of them? I could start reading all the books? Yeah. I think that'd be impossible. So there's a couple of them. There's one yeah. called uh, Teeth in the Mist, which I hear is kind of like a haunted yeah. house, multiple timeline uh. ghost story, which sounds really intriguing. There's also Home Before Dark, which is another haunted house book, but it is like adult scary book. So I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. 
<laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, those are the two I'm contemplating starting this month just to kind of get a jump start on spooky season. I have a lot of other spooky books that I do want to start in October. So that is my TBR for the month. It's catch up slash spooky. So let me know down below what you plan on reading in September. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You do that? Thumbs up? Help me out here, kid. There we go. If you want to, totally up to you. And I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye. There we go. Bye.